Welcome to this Europe short. In this video, we will discuss the decline of the purchasing power of the US dollar since 1971. The US dollar has been the world's dominant reserve currency for decades. However, since the end of the Britain was system in 1971, the dollar has experienced a significant decline in purchasing power. The Britain was system was an international monetary agreement that linked the value of the US dollar to gold, but this ended in 1971 when President Richard Nixon ended the convertibility of the US dollar into gold. Since then, the US government has been free to print as much money as it wants without the concern of a gold standard. This has resulted in a steady increase in the money supply, which in turn has led to a decline in purchasing power of the US dollar. This decline in purchasing power can be seen in the rising prices of goods and services over the years. For example, in 1971, the average cost of a gallon of gas was around $0.36. Today, the average cost is over $3 per gallon. Inflation has also impacted other areas such as food, housing, and healthcare. The cost of a loaf of bread in 1971 was was around $0.25 while today it is around $2.50. So what does this mean for the future of the US dollar? While the dollar is still the dominant reserve currency, its decline in purchasing power has led some experts to question its long-term viability. Other countries are also looking to reduce their reliance on the US dollar and are exploring alternative currencies and payment systems. In conclusion, the decline of the purchasing power of the US dollar since 1971 has been significant and its long-term viability as the dominant reserve currency in us is uncertain. It is important to stay informed and aware of these trends as they may have a significant impact on the global economy.